In this lesson, I'll show you how to use De Moivre's theorem to find the roots of complex numbers in polar trigonometric form. The question reads, find all the complex fourth roots of 16 times cosine 60 degrees plus sine 60 times the imaginary unit i. Then write the roots in trigonometric form with theta in degrees. Let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is find out what k is equal to. And we can do that by taking n and subtracting it by 1. In our case, they want the fourth root. So n is equal to 4. Therefore, k is equal to 4 minus 1. And that's 3. k will serve as a factor for the angles. Let's go ahead and find out what z at 0 is. Our n value is 4. And our radius, according to this, is 16. Square bracket cosine, and our angle is theta, which in our case is 60, plus 360 times 0 over 4, plus sine, the angle was 60, plus 360 times 0 over 4. Simplifying the inside here, we have 60 divided by 4, that's equal to 15. So we have the fourth root of 16, which is 2, cosine 15 degrees plus sine 15 degrees times i. That's the first complex root. And we have to do this for each k value. So I'll show you the next k value. We're at z1. The radius is still 2. Now we have cosine. 60 plus 360 times a k value of 1 divided by 4 plus sine, the same expression, 60 plus 360 times 1 divided by 4 times the imaginary unit i. Simplifying this, we get 2 cosine 60 plus 360 is 420. 420 divided by 4 is 105. So we write down 105 to both. And that's the second complex number. I'll highlight these two answers. And if you do the rest correctly, you should end up with a Z2 and Z3 value. Your expressions should look like this. What you see highlighted on your screen are the four complex numbers. Let's move on to question number two. This time they want us to find the fourth root of z is equal to 81 bracket cosine 80 plus i times sine 80. We're going to follow the same technique and our angles are in degrees so we'll be using this formula. Your n value is equal to 4 and k once again is equal to 3. Starting off with z sub 0, we have the fourth root, our r is 81. The fourth root of 81 should give you 3. Square bracket, cosine, and our angle is 80. 80 plus 360 times 0 divided by 4. Plus sine, the same expression, 80 plus 360 times 0 divided by 4 times the imaginary unit i. This reduces down to 3. And then we have cosine 80 divided by 4 is 20 plus sine 20 times i. Of course, you'll have to do this for z sub 1, z sub 2, and z sub 3. And if you do it correctly, these will be your following expressions. And there you have it. That is how to find the roots of complex numbers in polar trigonometric form.